All right, folks, we're going to jump into a very short lecture um, about data output. Um, we've talked a lot about data input, um, and we've shown you how to output some of your um, figures. Um, but this is just more generally about how might you output data um, from R into other programs. Um, so you can look at it in Excel or, or other um, programs. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to, we like to read in a variety of formats. It's also important to be able to output them um, so you can share them with co colleagues um, or, you know, like submit it for um, a data repository or something like that. Um, so very general things that we would use uh, that are similar to what we've already kind of seen for reading in, um, there are versions for writing. Um, so within the reader pack package, we will have things like write CSV to write comma separated value um, text files, or this like more general write DLIM um, that would can write tab separated values or um, just generalized text. Um, so the general format for write underscore CSV um, includes X, which is the object that your that your R object that you're actually going to be outputting um, the file, um, which would just be, you know, quote file.csv. Um, you can also specify um, the the um, the file structure, um, like where you want to put that in your computer in here. Um, otherwise it will just go into your working directory. Um, there's a bunch of other additional things that you can do here um, that you should look into. Um, yeah, so this file path um, can be something like an absolute path, um, which just is spe specifies like um, C forward slash documents slash um, intro to R slash the, the file name. Um, or it could be this relative path. Um, so say you already have an intro to R directory that you're working in, that's your working directory. Um, and so you might just say, uh, save this to the data folder within that R, that, that existing directory. Um, and, or like it said, if you just specify, you know, youth tobacco new name, um, it will go into your, your current working directory. And always remember to include your file extension, um, you know, .csv, .txt, or whatever. Um, with write DLIM, you will want to have, just like you do with reading DLIM, you'll have to specify what is the delimiter um, for different um, cells in your data. Um, another thing that's really helpful is um, RDS. So R actually has two different um, native file formats. One is an RDS and the other is just R data. Um, and the nice thing about those two things is uh, they are very, very easy for R to read and write to. Um, so say you've you know, imported a ton of data um, and it's this really, really big file um, in Excel and you've done all the work of importing it into R, well, you could just save it as an RDS file um, and it'll make that loading process a lot faster. Because um, it just, you know, R just likes to read its like native data formats more. Um, so you can, similar to the same, to, you know, write CSV or write DLIM, um, you just need the data that you're going to be writing. So this is an object in your environment. Um, and then file is the, the new file name. If you do not specify a directory to put it in, it will put it in your writing, your working directory. Um, so you can, you know, let me, I'll show you a quick example. So, 
um, X is C133. Okay, what is my working directory? I should, I should know that. So get WD, what is it right now? Okay, so it's in my intro to R directory right now. So when I write RDS, X file is equal to my, uh, my vector dot RDS. I can check my working directory. Downloads, intro to R. There it is. My vector dot RDS just exists, just immediately went to my working directory. Um, you may also want to export a set of objects from R to for later use, either to save time or to use in another script. Um, and you can output these as this R data file format. Um, so you could do that individually um, by doing something very similar where you just say, um, like, save is the function. So you could just do save um, objects X and X2 to a new file, or you can actually save your entire environment. So I'll get sh to show you kind of what that would look like. So I could um, save um, just the cars data set. Um, so cars.r data. It's kind of big, but it should work. Um, and it shows up in my working directory now as cars.r data. Um, I could also output my entire directory or my entire environment if I want to. Um, so let's say I just do save image um, and I say um, Cliff's directory, um, June 23rd, dot data. There. So it's working. It says our data temp. It'll take a minute. To output it all. Do, do, do. There we go. All done. So Cliff's directory, June 23rd, our data. So if you've done a lot of work on something and you're just wanting to like, save your place um and you you know you've loaded a bunch of data but your script's not done or your your worksheet's not done um and you just kind of like want to save where you're at um so you don't have to waste a bunch of time this is a really nice way of just kind of coming back to um some current work that you're already doing without having to reload all of the the existing data another thing that you can do is actually um you can kind of select different things. So instead of just making a list of different objects, um, you could, you know, doing X, X2, X3, um, you can kind of select them in our studio. Um, so say for instance, I only want to do like, um, I just want to do cars. I could, Take all of this stuff. What I did here is, you know, go to your this grid or list and pick grid. I don't want these in my thing. And I can just clear them out using the the broom icon. I'm gonna remove those from my environment. And then when I run this again, so this save image clips directory all it's going to be saving is cars. Um, and then maybe I just delete it all again. 
I can also just load things back into my environment by using this open file icon. Uh, and so it'll go immediately to my working directory. Um, so I could load any of these things that I've already I've already made. So I could load my vector. Okay. That didn't quite work. Uh, let's load this directory. And it should just load cars. Great. Loads cars, great. So very quick summary, you can write CSV, you can write DLIM. Um, those are both in the reader package. Um, and then RDS files can be handy for you know, saving your intermediate work, um, or you can save um, a set of different objects using save or save your whole uh, current environment using save.image.